pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am a Brookwood Junior High School student. I am loved. My life matters. My teachers have high expectations for me. I have high expectations for myself. When one door shuts, another will open. I will persevere. I will succeed. I am the future. I will not use my hands for hitting or my words for hurting others. I will use them only for helping. Good morning, staff and students. Just a few announcements for today, January 7th. Just a reminder, students, if you have a D or I in any of your classes, you will be required to stay on camera for the entire time. Your teacher's on live teaching. We need to make sure that students are engaged in their teacher's live instruction. Students, it is a requirement if you have a D or an I. If you refuse to remain on camera, your parent will be contacted. For all other students, you will still need to be on camera when your teacher asks. And also, if your teacher calls on you or asks you to respond in the chat, please do so or you will be considered not engaged in the lesson and we will also notify a parent. Students, remember our incentive program is tied to student progress, achievement, and attendance. You will still be allowed to redeem points for prizes. However, in order to receive your prizes, each student must be academic and attendance eligible. If students are receiving a D or I, or if they have not been in attendance for more than 5% of the quarter, they would not qualify for the highest tier level of prizes, which does include gift cards. The system is aligned with our Positive Behavior Intervention System, or PBIS, program. Our PBIS program tells us to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Teachers give one point in each tier when students exhibit all expectations under each category. Students will receive their points paycheck every two weeks, which will keep them informed of their bonus point total. Here is what each category looks like. To be safe, students earn a point by choosing a distraction-free space, having their parent or guardian call in if they're going to be absent, using all electronic equipment as it is intended, and letting their teacher know if the, in the chat if they have to step away during the live instruction. For being responsible, students can earn one point by having their camera on when asked or required, using the chat appropriately to participate and not talk with friends during their teacher's live instruction, and for logging in on time and being ready to learn. And for being respectful, students earn a point by starting each class with their device charged or plugged in, having all materials ready for learning, and turning in their work on time. Students, please try your best to earn those points. Remember, you can earn up to 18 points a day. Your teachers should have shared our new prize incentive catalog with you. Students, please remember your points will not be rolling over for quarter three. You must use your points from first and or second quarter to purchase prizes from our new catalog by January 15th, or you will lose those points. As you may notice, our prize points have increased as students were able to roll over their points from first quarter. So just a reminder to all students that we will start with zero points for quarter three and we will also have a new prize catalog for quarter three. Students, please ensure you are completing all your work on time so you don't fall behind and have to play catch up. If you need extra help from your teachers, you just need to ask. Teachers offer extra help at the end of each day from 2.50 to 3.15 p.m., so please speak up if you need help. Remember, students, try your best to become an iLead student. iLead stands for Individual Learners Excelling Academically Daily. Each core two teacher will choose five students when it's their turn. Every other week, we show a video recognizing the top five students. Students, please participate in our district-wide online spelling bee. All students are invited. Study the lists of words from your teachers for the classroom spelling bee, which will be held in each school in January. Dates will be, are to be determined. I also posted the words on my class dojo, and your teachers posted them in their class dojos as well. Here are some studying suggestions. Start by studying the list that is closest to your grade level. Say the word, spell the word, then say the word again. Practice with an adult. Practice by yourself. Just keep practicing. Good luck to everyone. If you are absent or if you need to see the lesson again, you can request to see your teacher's recorded lesson. This week's cool tool is a review of online expectations. Your teacher will review these expectations each day of the week during this week and um, during your morning meeting. On Friday, you will participate in a Kahoot about the expectations. Students, please remember to follow your class schedule and log on to each of your teacher's Google Meets at their designated time. Your teachers share a link for their Meet in their Google Classroom each day. 
If you're having any tech issues, please contact our help desk at 708-300-3553 or email helpdesk at brookwood167.org. Remember, when you are online learning, you must follow all school rules and expectations. Our grab-and-go meals are still available for all students Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. till 11.30 a.m. Just pull around to the east side of the junior high to door 12 to receive your grab-and-go meal. We want to wish a happy birthday today to Ross Witt. We hope you have a great day, Ross. Our math word of the day is prism. A prism is a type of polyhedron that has two bases that are both congruent and parallel and lateral faces, which are parallelograms. Our quote of the day, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Hashtag Brookwood Strong. Staff and students have a great day.